Yeah. I'll mute it. Push there the button. Push the button. I push the button. button. <laughs> Your turn now. You, oh, you may, probably you stood up, so it doesn't look like I'm laying down. Yeah, yeah you're, you're kind of. You, you, I'm gonna take it down. Kind of lounge I'm, I'm there. slouching today. I'm slouching today. <laughs> I'm muted. Push the button. Push the button. Oh, 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 oh. Push the button. Oh, 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 don't oh. let it come through. Oh, sorry. My monitor station over here had the volume up. What is going on for Waffle Wednesday? How's everyone doing? Waffle. Waffle. I'm waffle. good. Waffle. Waffle. I'm ready for a week. And <clears throat> no, I can tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. yeah. I'm still recovering from last weekend with all that digging I did. Well, I shouldn't say I did. <laughs> I'm still recovering from my from <laughs> being stupid and looks, getting looks heat good. exhaustion. Oh yeah, how'd your camping yes. trip go? It, yeah, you know, it was, it was fine. We got the heat exhaustion. Okay, so we we went out with our group and everything, and we met up at the lake, hung out well at the reservoir. We hung out at the reservoir for a while, and they were gonna head back into town. And we wanted to get to the other side of the river that was below the reservoir. And they were like, yeah, yeah, there's a river crossing down there. Absolutely, there's a river crossing with how little rain we've gotten. We're like, okay, it can't be that much. It, it, it might even be dried out at this point. So we went down there and we, we spent four hours searching for this river crossing. And it, <laughs> the, the track had been so torn up. Plus, it, there was so much river rock that we had to drive over. We were going slow, so slow. It was 117 out. We have a soft top. And it was probably 107 inside of our Jeep. It was oh, so geez. hot. <laughs> and we were driving so slow, so the AC couldn't keep up. It was miserable. We ended up jumping in the river. <laughs> Just to cool off. We never found that river crossing, by the way. Never. And, but we did find other people that were lost looking for it, and they, we, we all kind of formed a caravan. <laughs> and that was the story. <laughs> hey, cool, Mythical, right? we're all good. Hey, Mythical, how we doing? How we doing? I'm playing my day. Sorry for the uh, heat exhaustion there, Corgi. That's not very good. It happens. Okay, Pen, we'll be here. Bye, Pen. Bye, Pen. I won't kill him before you get back, Pen. Hopefully. Oh. Oh, sorry. Baby Dory, right? <laughs> That's what I've concluded you're summoning. Is Baby Dory. Baby Dory? Or Shark Baby that likes tummy pits. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about a cute little Dory. I was thinking more like squid like things like that. <laughs> oh, so had, had the, the one shot go mythical. Oh, yeah. Nice, 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 nice. nice. Awesome. That's nice. Awesome. Love D&D. &D. Well, welcome to the welcome to the dark side. <laughs> how much how much Indeed. do you love it? Are you willing to play it six days a week? Or are you? <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. I'm already at four. <laughs> Don't do it, Mythical. Don't do it. <laughs> four. I'm at three. Oh, but see, I you thought I was crazy for doing four. I do, too, and now I'm Good. part of your craziness. <clears throat> let, let it flow through you. <laughs> yes. Welcome to the club. The very addictive club. I hear dice in the background, so I'm assuming one of our players has dice on the table. Yeah, I'm rolling <laughs> dice. Sorry. I'll not roll it. I wanted to roll regular dice, but <laughs> I won't. I dice won't for goblin. this game. I can play dice. I, I can play with actual dice in tomorrow's game. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh. Let's see how my oh, luck is going to go today. I'm rolling one of my d20s. Let's see how it's going to go. Okay, Sorry, that's fine. We, we might be in good luck. It's a 17. Or that's I just rolled the only good roll I was going to have today. I'm about to say, roll it out now. Roll it out now. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. It's a very interesting uh, finish off from last week, as from at least this one. We are now going into phase three. You guys doing well so far. Hopefully you make it through. But beyond that, uh, we got an awesome week planned, as always. We got the 
The Water Deep run tomorrow. Make sure you catch that on this channel, as well as the Curse of Strahd on Friday. So, um, make sure you guys stay tuned to the tweets and to the discords and to the notifications and all that good stuff. And again, YouTube channel is releasing videos two a week. Well, we should go three a week now, I think. Um, with each of our sessions, trying to catch you up to our current sessions where we're at now. So, I think it's all nice. the announcements I got. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it. Nobody has anything else, so I guess we can get into the recap. All right, Bully and Ed, I DM'd you guys. Uh-oh. I told you I would. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> All oh, right. right. Yeah, uh... thank you. Yep. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely needed that, so thank you. You're welcome. I you're welcome. <laughs> All right. I saw the health. I saw the health. So Good. where we started off the last time is we had just finished defeating the cultists. The group searched the bot the cultist bodies and finds one potion of greater healing. Griselda says that the cultists are a bad sign and begins to panic about the missing children. IMAG asks about them. They are both 10 years old and named Smithwell and Bernice. They jump onto their horses and start riding towards Lyon. The rain begins to fall as the ruins of Lyon comes into view. They see no one uh, as... They, they see no one inside as... Uh, they get closer to... Or they see no one inside of the town until they get closer to the water's edge. On the beach... They see a tiefling with their hands held up in the air with five humans chanting nearby. The clouds seem to respond, seem to be responding to them. Lightning begins crashing down uh, in the water over the coast. Through the flashes, they see the bodies of fishermen on the islands off the coast. Kindroth recognizes what they are doing as some sort of summoning ritual. They decide that they need to try and interrupt it, interrupt it so they rush in. The tiefling hears them coming and tells the human berserkers to attack them. Neela gets to the edge and shoots her crossbow at the tiefling, but despite the bolt sticking out of her, she continues with the ritual. The berserkers start to climb up the cliff towards them as the tiefling walks into the water, disappearing into the waves. Sophia uses her web attack again, but the berserkers avoid getting tangled at first. She then hurls her javelin at one of them, hitting him, but it doesn't even slow him down. Despite the volley of arrows and bolts, the rest of the berserkers continue to climb. A cylinder of clouds drops down, encompassing most of the group. From the clouds, lightning strikes out at them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need to drink of water. I'm not getting a frog in my throat. Ribbit. Ribbit. <clears throat> okay. It's raining um, already. Are we in Barovia? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, IMAG finds himself surrounded in the thick of it. This time, he makes a tactical retreat, avoiding any damage, as he and the rest of the group free from the swirling clouds. Just then, the tiefling walks back out of the water. You are too late! Her voice brings fear into everyone's mind, except IMAG and King. The swirling clouds then move over them once again. Struck by lightning, Sophia's webs fall and the final berserkers climb up. One slams down on King and his furry body. Oh, yeah, th by the way, I wrote this specifically <coughs> for you, Avalar. <laughs> One nope. slams Take down me. on King and his furry body falls motionless to the ground. Oh no. <laughs> Neela turns and sees King down furious. She takes aim with her crossbow, putting a bolt through one of the berserkers' heads. The battle is difficult, and although four berserkers are now dead, the group are badly hurt. I Mag drinks a healing potion and takes aim at the tiefling. The first arrow breaks her concentration and the swirling clouds drops. He then shoots her again. She raises her hands and points them at Imag and Kindroth. Black tentacles come, bursting out of the ground, our black tentacles wrapping around them. Kendroth, using some quick thinking, Misty steps out of the tentacles and uses a wand of magic missile against the tiefling. Eight darts hit her in the face. As the smoke clears, they see no head remains. They run to King's side and stabilize him. 
as the waves begin to crash more intensely in the background. Where we left off. Uh, exactly where you left off. It is raining. Clouds are still building. Lightning crashing against the water as I bring you to the, the map of Lilon. If you remember, you got, well, what you perceive as bodies. You don't know if they're dead or alive out here at the island. As you guys are on the edge there. Taking your short rest. Don't forget that because I know some of you guys are low on health. <clears throat> so my oh, yeah. question is good which which campaign were we supposed to level up i forgot uh it was right. strong okay i'll make that note Th this one was just a short rest which i'm pretty sure we rolled hit dice before we broke up last week yeah so. we did do that yes yeah. um okay. okay so avalar my question is are we still frightened no okay Nope. After the priest died, I cast that on you. That spell is no longer there. Okay, very good. But as you look out, the watery marshlands are bubbling and roiling, lightning flashing in the sky, revealing several humanoids forms laying on a muddy marsh island. Well, it says 60 feet from shore. Right. I can go with that from the edge of the dock. Okay. Um, the waist high water between the shore and the island suddenly erupts. Large watery forms emerge. That bring you to another map. Been a little theater of mine with this one because I'm trying to. I don't have a map for the ocean in between, but the watery forms start to emerge. Series of water elementals and water wards sprang or springing up from the water. Oh, they are big. They are big. There's a lot of them too. As they start moving in direction towards the island where the bodies are lying. Uh, right. Question is. Oh. Oh, so they're, they're you. moving away from us. Moving to the island where those bodies were. Okay. I feel... I feel like our plan from last time it is not the... It doesn't make as much sense now. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, I'm like, wait. Why were we going to use this? Um, this doesn't seem correct. Um, okay. Who is? Do, are we in a turn order? No. I'm not starting it just yet. Depending on how you want to uh, work with the present of the situation at hand. As they are moving out that way, time is the essence here. Depending on how you want to handle. Um. Well. Uh. Attack and run, or run and run, or stay in <laughs> and stay in attack. Uh, I think stay in attack, probably, right? I mean, we can I mean, try to aggro them, and then... Well, they're, they're, they're after... They're headed towards the island, right? So... Yeah. Um, oh, they're headed away? They're headed away from us towards the island. Yep. Oh. Okay. That's... Alright, that's a little bit different than what I expected. Yeah, let me let me from a theater to mind point of view. Let me if I can put this in perspective one second. I'll set this up to describe the scenery a little better. Scale is a little off here, just so I can have everybody see. Let's go back to the map of Lyon. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So you're on top of the top dock there, and remember from the island, you had these right. bodies laying on this shoreline. And right. they're kind of all huddled in, in here, heading out. So it's roughly 60 feet from that shoreline. 
<clears throat> so they'll get there in a round or two. Okay. Okay. Um, we need to stop them from doing that. Probably. I yeah. I would, I, I would think so. Yeah. Okay, Whatever then. they're doing is probably nefarious. So, yes. Uh. I guess I'm gonna make my way for the stairs and down the stairs. Whoa! All right, let's do. Let's go back to this other map. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So I'll give you. I'll give you all one free way, round, right? and then we'll do turn. Then we'll do turn order. Okay, I'm going to use my. Oops, I'm gonna click a bunch of things so that a bunch of things pop up that I don't really understand. And then I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna run away Oof. in thirty feet. Which doesn't quite get me to the steps. It's gonna get me to like something like there. Well th this map is also these squares are ten foot, right? Correct. Alright, so it's to me about here. That's terrible. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot at like one of the guys with my bow. The closest one, apparently. Okay, you're gonna shoot. All right, let me do a couple things. Do I have any spells left? Oh God, no. I don't know. Oh God, no. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, go ahead and get your myself. initiative rolls in, please. I'm gonna myself. Oh, yeah, I gotta get my initiative roll in. I mean, we got action surge and second wind. <laughs> that one. Yep. Avalar, how high above this roof are we? Uh, so the that's well, you're probably eye level with the roof. the The whole cliff side is roughly forty feet. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, from that point, <clears throat> let's go down the order. Then, so Nila. You have your one round. So, did we opt to attack? I, Unless you have a better idea. Yep. I, I, I don't. Do you speak water elemental? <laughs> Dude, I, I don't. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> okay, um, I guess. Um... Do we want to attack the same one, <laughs> or are we going to try to hit them all and try to aggro them to come towards us? Well, let's just see what happens. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm going to try Frostbite? I guess it's a constitution saving throw of 13. What, what's it called? Frostbite? Frostbite. It's... Oh, Frostbite. Okay. Yeah. On which one? Oh, uh, blue one. The blue one. Okay. As you class this Frostbite. <clears throat> What do you mean? Uh, oh, is that cast? 13. <laughs> That's all right. 13. So it saves half damage. 
Um. No, it's a frostbite's a. Uh, <clears throat> on a failed save, the target. Yes, it is. On a failed save, the target takes <clears throat> the cold damage and has disadvantage on its next weapon attack rolls that it makes before the end of its next turn. Yeah, but it's saved. But it's yeah, saved so, and it's so fine. nothing. Nothing. Okay. You got movement? Um. Uh, uh, bonus action. Um. I cast a spell. I guess. Um. I guess I'll start making my way down the stairs. Let's see how far I can get. So. Now you have to count the squares. The little arrow doesn't work on this map. It it does. You just have to. It's it's double whatever it is. So so if the arrow reads thirty feet, it's sixty feet. Ten, twenty. Fair. Oh, like, I can't <coughs> read between you guys. That's my turn, I guess. All right. I give King his free turn. Um. I guess he'll probably start. There really ain't much that he can do except be adorable and fluffy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, bat your eyes. Bat. <laughs> 20, 30, 40. So I'll he'll make it there. Sure, All right. I, we'll give it to Kendroth next. Okay. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking I want to jump down on this roof. Okay. Um, you want to pretty roll eye that level? We... Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty eye level. Uh, there's not too much of a gap, so I'll, I'll give you a decent DC. Let's say ten, and let's roll athletics. Pier is a little wet. You never know; you might slip or something. Insane. A thirteen. <laughs> All right, you jump on the roof. Okay, so I'm going to get to about there. So I can get right about to the peak of the roof. Um, and I guess uh, yellow here, I'm going to try and cast... Um, well, why can't I get on the right page? There we go. I'm going to cast Ray of Frost. So I'll stick my hands out. Linat Losi. Nat one. That's a seven. <laughs> a seven hit? <laughs> <laughs> Not with the net one, it doesn't. Just as he's climbing to the peak, he slips just a little bit to throw that spell off, and it goes completely over the elemental's head. <clears throat> and that's it for the wizardy wizard. Linoth. I'm Ag. Okay. Um. So what I would like to do is, I would like, to, um, am I standing next to the edge of the the boardwalk, I guess thing here? Yeah. And yep. There's like there's like a wooden railing. I'm assuming. No uh, railing. There's no railing. It's just like end of the line just, falls just, like, straight uh, down. <laughs> Not very right. safe. There's there was no there's no OSHA in D and D. Okay, <laughs> I understand that. Uh, so if I, let's say, had a rope I wanted to, like, <clears throat> drop here, um, in order to get down fast, um, you would well, need to find a place to tie it all to, but yeah, yeah but you I, could probably tie it to the pier, it's a pier, so it's, there's wood sl uh, slates or, uh, there's something there to tie like it tiles, to. Like planks. The, yeah, yeah. The, the berserkers climbed it pretty easily. I mean, you could probably... Right, but it took them a bunch of turns to climb up. Right? I want. I don't want to yeah, climb it, down taking a bunch of turns in movement. I kind of want to just slide down a rope. Shrump. Right. If I can. <laughs> I don't know if I can or not, but that's what I want to try to do. <laughs> Uh, Just a, for a question for Pin, one of them is what are weird, what are weird, 
as I show it to everybody as a handout. That was a weird out map. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the other one is a water elemental. It's the one that looks like a watery dog. And it's mouth open. Right? I was looking at more like a watery ghost. Okay, but it looks like you you've seen the big oh picture. in the yeah. in the in the handout it looks like very ghosty but like down below it looks it kind of does I do see the dog <laughs> it looks like a open. dog with the mouth open. Says that. <laughs> yes. yeah. it's, it's like clouds it's like clouds one person sees a dog I see the scary movie face thing like, the ghost like face the so <laughs> all right cool close them um so yeah can I do that. Tie a rope off, drop it, and slide down it. Shwimp. Sure, so just give me a sleight of hand check. Okay. Eight. Oh, this is going to be a great wow. one. <clears throat> wow, so you're DC to climb down for that rope to help hold. Yay! <laughs> I can't wait to fall 40 feet. <laughs> <laughs> will it be the full 40 feel. feet? Or, or will That's I like knowledge. slide down some of the way and then fall like maybe 20 feet? <laughs> <laughs> I think your DC is going to be 10 for anybody trying to climb down your rope. <laughs> well, no, no, I should raise that. Sorry. back. It's backwards. I should go. Let's go. Or say 14. I, so so I made it. I made it. Fine. <laughs> You made it as an 8, so I'm going to make your DC a 14 to try to climb down there. Okay. All right. Make sure that rope... As, as iMag is tying this rope, it's trying to pull a little bit. You know, the knot's a little loose. That looks good. It's raining. His hands are slippery. The rope's slippery. So I'm at the bottom oh, Yep. Now. I'm at the bottom. <clears throat> what did I use to get oh, me to here? You're going to climb You're gonna climb now? Oh, oh on a rope? Yeah. Yeah, I'll climb down. Can I do that? That's what I want to do. Tie the and climb off. down. And climb down. I gotta roll what? Now do your dexterity. Just straight down. And 14's your number. Where that rope's coming loose. <clears throat> I'm not that sure if dexterity is the right call, but. <laughs> oh gosh. <clears throat> so I think, that we just, I think we should just stop right here and reconvene next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm falling. So here's what here's what happens. The rope didn't have a chance to get taunt before he jumped his whole body over and his hands completely slip off as he falls 40 feet. Go ahead and roll. Well, 4d6. Alrighty. As you smack pain. down on the sand. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, Sophia. four. Roll to everyone. So feels like, I know the feeling. Oh, they're good ones too. Five three five four. <laughs> Hot damn, baby! Ooh. As he slips off, good, though. bam! Slams right in the beach, the back between the 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 building there. There's like a warehouse, uh, and the seawall, right in the, in the sand. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm gonna lay there. <laughs> for the rest of the <laughs> and that reminds me, you are prone at this point. Yep, I'll stay there for the rest of my turn. I can't see anybody anyway. Basically saying, "Oh, my back." Ow. All right. No. Sophia's like, as a free action, as a free action, can I kind of like look down the edge at him? Sure. Like, are you okay? N no. He's fine. He's <laughs> fine. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Better. <laughs> Better. King's like looking down there with his head tilted. What just happened? As Agmai says, use the rope. <laughs> don't, don't, don't use the rope. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia's up watching Agmai just tumble down. She knows how that feels. <laughs> Sophia's just going to jump <laughs> off the boardwalk really and do the superhero landing in the sand. <laughs> superhero yeah, landing. Yes. yes. Go for it. I was gonna ask, like, 40 feet is kind of hard, but it's sand. It's 1d4 for every 10 feet? Yep. 1d4 okay. for every 10 feet? Can't parkour it. Maybe I, maybe I need to spend my, my evenings doing parkour around the, the camp. 
<laughs> parkour, parkour. Parkour. I mean, 40 feet's a pretty decent drop. I mean, oh, yeah. honestly. Oh, I... <laughs> yeah. Dude, oh, I will okay. shoot. 26. 26. At, at blue here. Or 10 foot. I guess. I guess we'll see how this goes. Okay, um, you can do what with it again? I'll shoot at it. Or I guess I'll throw a spear. Okay. I can't throw a spear. That's way too far. I will shoot a bow at it, though. All right. So if he is pulling back the string, we'll get a knock oh. arrow. Of course she gets the crit. She's she's. The of course crit. she gets the crit. <laughs> Lucky. Arrow. She's really bad with the rolls, but now now we're dicing. <laughs> uh, so uh, you, yeah, you hit a sensitive area on this water wave thing <laughs> that caused extra damage. I hit Yay. nothing with bows, so it's a good thing I did. Oh, no. Indeed. So this is five, six, seven. It's six damage. <laughs> <laughs> Because my short bow is a 1d6 minus 1. <laughs> Why is it minus 1? Nice. Because I have a what? negative 1 dexterity. If you if you oh, click Jesus. on if you click on the short oh yeah 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 yeah. Hmm. Oh my lord. So, uh, so that extra as this roll arrow, is just plus 1 damage. <laughs> so as this arrow rips through the water and creates a kind of a little hole that kind of keeps itself back up. Just, I have about half of what I expected. Um, I'm gonna start climbing down. Right. Uh, just the same way the barbarians came up. So. Okay. So you flip yourself over. You can got some handholds. You know, some have you ever seen shorelines and little seawall with sand. Uh, you can kind of slide down with your weight. So, uh, you're ten feet from the bottom at this point. Cool. All right, uh, oh, and that brings. That is the end of the free round as these water elementals are now summoned and ready to start moving. As green starts moving towards the island. He's about 30 feet from that 60, so he's halfway to the island. And that brings it to Neela. Okay, well, um, seeing IMAC <laughs> on the ground, Kendroth almost fall off the roof. And knowing that there's <laughs> no way I'm going to be able to scale down that wall, um, I'm just going to move. Okay. Um, so, 10, 25. And can I see the green one? Oh, yeah. Okay, then I'll try to... I'll try to shoot a bolt at it, I guess. Okay. Um, As she aims her little crossbow. I'm mad, uh, screaming in pain. That's a 18 to hit. Uh, uh, 18 does hit. The bolt goes flying. And 10 damage. Nice. 10 or 18? Yeah, 10, 10. damage. Okay. I I mean, technically, it doesn't know it. I'm there. Well, it, I guess that does, it probably doesn't care I'm there. <laughs> As the bolt hits the back of this form, of this I like to call it a wave that's moving around. That's, but as the bolt hits it, it goes through it like it would water. It creates kind of a hole and it closes back up. Okay. All right, well, it reacts. Nice, I should say that it does react as it got hurt, essentially. But okay, what's up, Dom? Hey. What up, hey, Dom? Dom? Hi, Dom. Hey, buddy. All right, that brings it to King. Uh, he's just gonna keep running. So ten, twenty, thirty, forty. As red moves out towards the island, it's about halfway there now. Blue, reacting to being shot in the back, rolls itself back over like a wave would and crashes through the pier.
Okay. Uh, and it's Kendroff. <clears throat> okay. Um, this this recess here where this crane is, uh, how far of a drop is that from the roof line? Uh, like, could I just jump down into here? You could. It's probably about roughly 20-ish feet-ish. It's, it's, um... It's just the first floor where the crane sits, and it's kind of open, so it's a warehouse to pick fish and stuff up. And so I'll give it twenty foot for a story. Okay, you want to roll for it, or are you just gonna let me jump it? Uh, go ahead and jump. Okay. So you can do a athletics or a dexterity, and on a failed DC, I'll have to apply fall damage. We'll play it that way. Okay, we'll do. Uh, you said I can use. I can use. Uh, uh, you said Dex, uh, athletics, or I mean um, acrobatics. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, a a acrobatics or Dex. And I'll set it since it's only 20 feet. I'll set it. Nice. 12. Not 20, baby. Woo! No. Oh. You jump down. <clears throat> no issue. Okay. Um, I am going to. <clears throat> uh, cast Ray of Frost at Green again. So I'm going to stick my hands out. Linath Losi. Okay. A three. No, does a nine hit? <laughs> nine does not hit. That's it for me. At least you didn't break your leg. That's it, right? <laughs> yeah. Hot bag. Yeah. <laughs> He's laying on his back in between the buildings. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> ah, my bad. Um, so I used what half my movement to get up. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, the other half of my movement to to move to the edge of the building so I can see you around. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna fire two shots with a ivory bow at the blue guy because I can see him head this okay. direction. Okay. Uh, 22 to hit. 22 does hit. For 11 damage. Nice. As that arrow passes through the water out to the other side. Okay. It reacts. To the, it reacts. But the hole closes back up. Another attack with the, the bow. I'm uh, seeing... 22 to hit. 22 does hit. Oh, I think I rolled that twice. You... You're welcome to take the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Six damage. All right, air goes through the water, pierces through its watery body. Body. Uh, it does react a slight bit. That is the end of my turn. Right. Following the water wheel, the water wheel, the water element, the weird crashes over to pier, and it's a snake like form coming out at IMAG, <laughs> heading in your direction. Okay. Uh, and this brings it to this. This other one goes out halfway to the island. So it was purple. That brings it to Sophia. How tall hey, are they? Uh, they're large, so let's go 20 feet in length. In... in, in Height. Okay. I was hoping you'd say like fifty. <laughs> um. Sophia's looking at him, kind of wanting to climb back up, but she will finish her descent, coming down. And ten foot down, you hit the bottom with the sandy bottom. Meet Imag around the corner as he's releasing two arrows. Hello. 
What is bet? What is hurt back? I got uh -huh. I got some pills for that later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I am gonna check a javelin. Okay. At blue again. For twenty, for a twenty, uh, for seven piercing. All right. Oh, javelin goes right through him. A second. Does a fourteen hit? Fourteen. Does it? Sweet. For another six. Okay. And then I am going to pull out my shield. And that's. I'm good. Okay. Both javelins go through its body, creating two holes. It reacts to it, rumbling in its water, turning, and the holes close up. And all you hear is crashing waves, and there is a language in there, but you're just not understanding it. It sounds like gargling and bubbles. All right. Green has now made it to the island. Nila. Um. Where are the kids we're looking for? Are they on the island? <clears throat> They're dead. Oh. <laughs> well. No, I don't know. But I don't really care. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. How? F you said that it was from where they started to the island was 60 feet, right? Correct. So they cover that distance. At least green has. Okay. Purple so thirty. They're like a good hundred feet away from me, probably at this point, right? I think at that point it's probably a good assumption. Yeah. Okay. Um. Then I guess I could probably still see this one. This one, the, end, the other one's probably hidden. Uh, I'm going to try using frostbite again. Okay. So, con save 13. Gosh, I'm rolling like oop. Okay. Uh, oh, all right. What does, what does Frostbite do? The damage seems very low. Uh, it it's like a, a cold damage spell. It's a, it's a cantrip, so, but I, I don't. Other, I mean, I don't want to cast Cure mm. Wounds or Healing right, Word on right, it, right. so... Oh, of it, course. It's, <laughs> it's, essentially, it's essentially what it sounds like. It's it's Frostbite. It's just a cold, like, a, a like cold surrounds them and oh. does cold damage. Okay. I was yeah. just wondering if it was something like... Like, when you roll Magic Missile, the number's really low, too, right? Because it's got, like, a multiplier. Oh. So I didn't know if it was yeah. something like that, too. No, no it's, it's just a, it's it's just a low-level cantrip. Yeah, yeah, it's just a... Yeah. What he said. No, it's fine. So I rolled, I rolled twelve. <gasps> Yay! Yay! You take three cold damage, and uh, I you don't have a weapon. I don't think melee it counts because it doesn't say melee. <laughs> but, it just says weapon attack. Yeah, I don't have melee. Uh, it doesn't they they work on like a bulging slam with the water hitting you with force. But an interesting thing does happen as it. This bolt of frost hits the water. It starts freezing. And it's as it was trying to roll its way towards IMAG and Sophia, it is now frozen in place. <gasps> Yay! I did a thing, guys. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> all right, I'm going to use... I'm actually going to do something I should have been doing with all of my bonus actions. I'm going to dash. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's my turn. All right. That brings us to the king. He, what I should have also been doing with him is he's going to dash as well. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And he's going to stop here and hit me up. And... Okay. And uh, that'll be his turn. All right. Red has now reached the island.
blue is trying is like says frozen in place, but now the top side is starting to melt a little bit. He is frozen in place. Kendroff, it is your turn. Um I guess I'm going to try Ray of Frost on yellow again. Yeah. So I'll stick my hands out. Leonard Lose. 25. Hey, 25. 25 does hit. For 10 cold damage. Oh. Interesting. So this frost bolt hit Ray of Frost hits it. It freezes a little bit, but shatters. But pieces of itself that was once a form of a wave and a snake is starting to fall off with it. But it's still movable. Man. It's T2 hunting. And that's what? all I have. Uh, see, movement. Ter Terminator. Sorry. No. Terminator. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the second floor. How far would it be for me to get out the door? Uh, you could probably go. Let's say 15 okay. feet. There's a stair down. I'll say right here, and then the front door be right here so yeah 13 feet plus a climb down of five feet so let's say 20 feet total to get to the to the door and then you had 10 feet past okay, that point. to get to get to the door all right so I'll, I'll get i'll get down to the door then you had 10 feet after um all right so i'll, I'll jump walk onto the sand okay That's it for me. And that's all right. And that brings it to IMAC, who is no longer nursing his back. Okay. I, I don't know if you're. You, I might be. Um, we'll, see how, <laughs> we'll see how these I, next I, rolls I play out. I had a token on your head. Get rid of it. <laughs> uh, my back. Um, so, Red has Why made it. Why did you take it. the stairs? Red has made it, green has made stairs. it. The stairs were way over there. You can't <laughs> s way over there. You're fine. I'm, you're All fine. Right. It was a good idea. It just happened to roll the way it did. <laughs> I can see orange, right? Can I see orange? You can see orange. Yes. Can I, can I see? I, I can't see purple. There's a building in the way. You can't see purple. <laughs> okay. The orange reds hit the island. Uh, orange is almost there. But it's 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 out there. It's it's almost at the max range of your bow, but you can still hit it. Okay, I'm going to shoot shoot the orange one with my first shot. Okay. Twenty eight nice. to hit. Nice. This Twenty eight does hit. One d eight plus four. Go and eight damage. Uh, 12 damage. Nice. Very nice. nice. As that arrow, arrow goes through its body like it would water and comes up the other side. Okay, well, it reacts a little bit to pain, but it does affect. Okay. Um, I'm going to shoot the blue guy with the second shot. Okay. With an actual one, though. So, you know. Okay. <laughs> You totally missed the big mountain that's in front of you. I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, the roll is dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. The what? arrow lands right in the sand, right here. <laughs> it was hard to gauge when you went from long distance to short distance. Okay. Um, I'm going to just step back behind the wall. Take cover behind the wall. Okay. Sounds fair. Okay. My turn. As the this water snake, if you will, in the shape of a snake, it's water weird. I just it's a tongue twister to me. Yes. Rolls over the pier in front of the the warehouse there as it slams down and tries to wrap Kendra off to constrict it. Okay. 
All right. Oh boy. <laughs> A 12 Kendra. against your AC. 12 is a miss. So Kendroff was able to dodge his watery attack. It's basically just, you ever get hit with a water <laughs> that comes at you really hard? Yep. You dodged it. It missed. All right. All right. Uh, Orange, upon being shot, has now turned back. So it has to go... 30 feet just to get to its original spot from the island, so it's back right there. And purple has now made it to the island. That brings it to Sophia. Okay. Ten, ten. If I move 10, 20, 30 here, mm -hmm. can I slash at it? Sure can. Sweet. I'm gonna use not my cats and a piano for a first time in a long time. What? Um, <laughs> I know. I'm gonna use my plus one long sword. Okay. Because I am using a shield, so it's a sad day. Oh. Or miss with that one. Mm, as it tries to nine hit. <laughs> mine does not hit. So as it tries to hit Kendroff, you just came up, try to swing at it, and and miss as it was trying to attack Kendroff. And for a crit, I'll take it. Ooh, but you, nice. but you world went around came, and did an uppercut with it, and you make a critical hit. Is that a critical? A critical hit. Yep. For max, max damage of 16, nice. 24 damage. Woo! Nice. 24. You got a plus 8? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Nice. So as it, yeah, it rears damage. back in its, it rears back in its snake form, it is speaking something aquatic gurgling language almost echoey and ethereal like as it's screaming essentially but you don't understand what it's saying okay. good yep yeah that's all i got all right Green has now made it to island from the past round as it gets on top of the island land and starts heading over to the bodies that you saw laying there as it's come crashing down like a tidal wave on top of it, of them. And there, you no longer see the body of one of them. There was a total from what you can see, probably, let's say five. One is now gone. Nila. Um, I guess seeing the effectiveness. Uh. Oh, okay. So, I always forget this. I'm on a mount. I move on my mouse turn because my mount is smart. So, okay. Um. I guess I will shoot another. Um. Frostbite at uh, that one, the blue. Okay. Oh my gosh! Can I? Ah, uh, just I. I'm gonna go bed. <laughs> <laughs> um. That's a D. Oh, two D six for that, huh? Yeah, I know, I right? Got oh. Got a dirty twenty though. <laughs> okay, so you succeed. Um, and then... I think the... Don't be hard on yourself. I think the effect of this is so much of the spell's effect more than the damage. Moving on... And like I said, I think when I'm moving on an intelligent mount, I move on their turn, right? Say again? When I move on an intelligent mount, I move on their turn, I think. Because it's I their so, choice yes. to move. Not mine. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, no, that's technically no. If you're riding him, he's commanding well, your. You just gain his speed like you would a horse. You're in a command of the driver's seat, essentially. But you gain his, abil his speed is, ability. That, no, that's how it is with regular mounts. I think it's different with intelligent mounts. I'll have to check it. 
Um, we'll just yeah. say for the now, if there's movement, I'll do it. But for now, I'm done. Okay. I'll get up. And that brings it to King. Who <laughs> moves with you on his back? Oh, it's his turn. Oh, sorry. I was reading. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, I you're, forgot he's after you're me. Fine. So he's just going to dash then. So uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I'm figuring this is the end of the, the stairs so he can just jump off down there and try to go. Yeah, that's the fine. Yep. Building. Yep. You are fine. Okay, that's his turn. As red has now was before reached the island. Is now on top of the island, rolling up like a tidal wave, crashing into one of the bodies laying on the ground. Disappears. There are now three bodies left. And that being said, I should have mentioned, should have mentioned these two elementals at the pond that go back into the sea. So the, so the bodies disappeared and the elementals went back to the sea. Mm-hmm. Okay. Blue, on its end of its turn, breaks out of the ice that was frozen him and that will end his turn from that point and that brings it to Kendroff who's got this watery serpent thing in front of him that, that just try to hit it hit him and Sophia just took a big chunk out of it <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit yellow with Ray of Frost again so Lunath <laughs> That's going to be a 24 to hit. 24 does hit. For five cold damage. All right. As the Ravehall hits it, it does freeze, but not enough to stop its movement. Five damage. And I'll, I'll say, I'll say as a meta, I kind of don't like that because one elemental has that quote unquote. Um, Feature against frozen or cold, and yep. the other water part doesn't. I don't. I don't kind of agree with that. I'd like to think about that in the future. Hmm. But, oh. um, and I'm I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay where I'm at. Okay. That brings it to IMAG. Tuck it behind the building. Um, I will poke my head back out. Um, did Orange go? Orange did. He He's coming back. He was halfway out to the island, got shot with your arrow, I believe it was, and uh, came back, and he's starting to come back. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to run... Uh, 30 feet out this way. Oh, wait, this not Okay. Here. 30 feet is there, right? It's right here. Okay. You're on a corner of the building. Um, can I see purple? Uh, you cannot see purple. You could probably, if you can't make him out, you can notice he's also kind of far out there. Not out of your range, but because the building's in your way, he's so far out there, it's almost an impossible shot. Okay. Um, I'm going to shoot at orange. Okay. I'm going to shoot at orange. What? 21. 21 does hit. Nine 
nine damage. All right, air goes through him. Through the watery body. Right, right. As it curls back, hisses, become is still trucking at you. Um, I'm gonna uh, uh, um, shoot it orange again. Same, same one, orange again. Okay. Um, eleven to hit. Second one, enforcing goes wide. All right, that's the end of my turn. Okay. The water, the water serpent right in front of Kendra off the side to come at him again. At Kendra off. For 16. 16? I'm going to cast shield with the staff of defense. So that's going to bump okay. my east to 20. Excellent. As it smashed up, get your magical shield and water sprays everywhere. Even Sof Sophia's eyes, salt water in her eyes. It pulls back and it hisses. And. Okay, and purple has now made it to the island, 60 feet out from the pier, from the shoreline. Sophia. Sophia will go ahead and slash again at yellow. Okay. For another Shoot. <laughs> Beautiful. Ah, Sophia. Wow, from the bottom to the top, she slices With up for a critical. Max, 24 points of damage. Good gravy. Can you loan me some of your luck, Fortis? No doubt. <laughs> Indeed. So from slashing from top to bottom, straight up as like uppercut, the water just completely collapses its forms, and you just get sprayed. You and Kandroff just get soaking wet from a wave that just crashes down on you, but it is gone. Nice. And I would like to climb the pier. The, you said it's 10 foot right here? No, the pier is not too high up. You, you can, it's probably, okay. a, if you will, if, between your ch chest and waist, if you will. Oh, okay. So I'll just do 10, 20 ish mm -hmm. to here. Okay. Yep, that's fair. Slash again for 13. Ooh. That's a questionable number. Ooh, unfortunately, it was able to dodge its form just out of way of your your attack. It is a miss. And that's okay. all I got. All right. Take a moment now to ask Booster to just pass the ice cream. I know, Please. right? I take Everybody at the table <laughs> wants ice cream. That still sounds bomb right now. Mm-hmm. You can keep this SB chicken, though I like it. But I'll trade you for the ice cream. Yeah, yeah. I really ice cream for everybody. I actually, no chicken. I, just, I might have to go to the store now and get ice cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pan Pan wants ice cream, and it's the middle of winter for her. <laughs> you did it's, boost it's it. Always a, there's always a good time for ice cream. It could be negative 10 out, and I'll still eat ice cream. <laughs> well, that it will bring it to Neela's turn at the far end of the docks there. Um... I will hold my action until I see something. All right. That brings it to King at the far so, end of the docks there. Uh, it's going to think that this is a bad idea. And I did look it up. Um, an intelligent mount moves on its own will, not on its riders. Okay. So, Ten four. I'm going to dash back. So 10, 20, 30... 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And now that I see something, I'm going to use uh, another, the frost bite against that creature. Okay. You can see the purple one down here. It's out of yeah. my range, yeah. though. Uh, the purple so ones 
what, six, 60 or 70 feet? 60 feet. It's 60 oh. feet. You have room. Oh. You, he just got to the island. It's 60 feet from okay. your, your point. Well, then, I thought it was farther out than that. Then, yeah, I'll do the purple one then. Yeah, I thought it was more than that. <laughs> So fair. So yeah, it's uh, 60 from sh from shoreline. So I'll be kind of liberal with that. So that you're on the far end of the dock there. You you're you're within range there. And yeah. Uh, so let's see. Uh, that's a water weird. So let's bring it up. And here we go. Survey says a 15. Ah uh, well, nope. It was just slutty out of her range to to be accurate and what's bully eating that's a good question what is bully eating bully is eating trail mix he'll stop though it's like it sounds like noise. granola or trails mix. <laughs> trail mix is it making lots of noise no no no, no, no uh, dom just says to you're eating okay you know it's D, &D. we got to bring snacks to the table and share it to everybody Maybe Here. maybe one day we get some emotes going on well, with pass, snacks I'll or something. To, I'll pass it over to Ed. Here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Grab it, Ed, and pass it up, will you? <laughs> uh, but you dropped the ice cream cone, Boosted. Guess we can wipe it off. It's kind of on the side there. See, this is one of our one of our first emotes. It's got to be bring snacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're let's, we're what like, we six. six Six like away. Yeah. Movie beginnings, like <laughs> let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the movies. Remember that? Indeed. Anybody? Yep. Absolutely. Indeed. <laughs> I do remember that. And uh, take a little intermission here to say we are six away for those emotes. So yes. hope you all can start thinking. Yes. Spread the good word. Six people away. Six yeah. followers away. From That's emotes, from getting our points back. Yeah. Getting our points so you guys can help us. And, uh, yeah. Yes, please. And <laughs> We need that. And um, if you guys got any idea what you'd like to see for emotes, definitely let us know. Indeed. Yep. Any suggestions? Snacks is one. <laughs> I get to go. And uh, there is an extension I was looking at. Um... We do. We do Twitter and Discords and a bunch of channels. So, and honestly, I clap for everybody to help because we actually, uh, our growth for the past couple weeks has been outstanding. So, I appreciate everyone's support. Everyone's everyone's support. Yep. So, it's been really good. But, um, there's an extension that allows chat to roll D20. And I know me and Ed's been talking about several ways of doing that, either from commands or whatnot. But there is a Twitter extension. Or, I'm sorry, a Twitch extension. So curious. We do a bit. I figured get some uh, little things like that in the chat. Maybe, especially when you do your channel points, maybe I have you roll something and then you can impact the game. Because yep. you can all be the players. I think that'd be a kind of cool way to inter get interaction from you guys. So Absolutely. Absolutely. But I must get back to uh, trying to kill the party. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Blue is now in motion. To attack Sophia. Uh oh. Part of its way comes down and crashes on Sophia's head. Does a 20 hit? 20 does hit, yeah. 19 points of bludgeoning damage. Oof. Just as you're trying to recover from that first hit, the second wave comes in and hits you. For a 25. Ouch. For 12 points of blood and damage. That did done hurt. <laughs> Nothing like getting hit with a wall of water, in it? Kendroff. So, Kendroff is um, going to move over here. Okay. And I'm going to hit blue with Ray of Frost. All right. So again, I'm going to stick my hands out. Linatelosi. That's going to be a 20 to hit. 20 does hit. For 11 cold damage. And with that hit, it can body completely freezes up. And that's all I got. All right. 
Brings it to iMag. Okay. We just saw Sophia just get smacked with two tidal waves. <sighs> Alright, not tidal waves, but... You okay, Sophia? Doing okay over here. Okay, so, so 30 more feet over, now can I see purple? Is, is what is it, 150 feet? So 60 from the shoreline, so that's at least that. Let's okay. say you're 10 feet past the shoreline, so you got at least 70 foot, maybe even 80. And yes, you do have visual on purple. Okay, so, but is it, so it's only like maybe 80 feet, you say, saying? Yeah, I, th I was thinking about 80. Okay, all right, so then that's within, that's definitely within regular range for me, because I have up to 600, yeah. so. Um. Well, 150. Yeah, I think you're, and I think you're, I think, I think your max range is, I think one of your small ranges is around 120 or something like that. And after that, it, you just, you depreciate. Well, it's 150. 150. Okay. Yeah, max range is 600, and then it's, it's disadvantage over 150. Right, right, right. Yes. Yeah. I was, I was you ready for that. More interaccurate. It's fine if it's not. Yeah, so it's 60 <laughs> feet from shoreline. The islands are 60 feet from shoreline. The scale's a little off in the map, but. All right. Well, as long as I can hit it and I don't have to roll disadvantage, then that's fine. I'll mm -hmm. do I'll do such things. Attacking purple with. All right. Pulls you Zippo. out. Pulls the string back. Air goes flying. Twenty-four. Twenty-four does hit. Uh, seven damage, and again. Oh, eleven. Oh, but I'm going to use Precision Hit, so that's a use of Superiority Die to add a D8 to my attack roll. Okay. Three, so that's 14 to hit. 14 does hit. Okay, cool then. Damage. Seven more damage. Okay. So both arrows pass right through its body. It worms back a little bit, flips itself around, and is now looking to head in your direction. Hey. That's just what I wanted. <laughs> That's the end of my turn, right. I think. Okay. Um... I don't have any of my crazy whirlwind stuff, so I mean I can't I can, but I'm not anywhere near anybody where I'm gonna be putting myself in danger. <laughs> Shoot with a bow. You see the orange goes to the edge of the shoreline, looking at Kandroff and you, but knowing it can't pass the water, so it turns back itself back on the nearest target, which is Sophia. As it tries to wrap itself with its watery body. Twenty-three. That hits. Rolling hot. Eed. So for that, nine points of damage. <laughs> um, but as it's trying to, as it wraps itself and tries to squeeze, it, it's constrict from water, uh, which I'm, I'm trying to understand how that works. But uh, you are kind of grappled at this point, so it's uh, DC to escape of thirteen. Your choice of either. Strength or dexterity to get out of. Yeah, I will I do, definitely do pick. strength. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen. You pass, so you are wrapped. You're not restrained. I'm sorry, you are restrained, um, but you won't get constricted every turn. Gotcha. Okay, it's like the tentacles that we had for. So you have your basically you have your hands free, so you can tag and stuff like that. So. Oh, okay. All right, uh, and that brings it to 
Purple, who is now making its way back. He was at the odd. He moves 30 feet. He is halfway to technically the shoreline, essentially. And that brings it to Sophia. All right. Am I grappled? Well, not grappled, but am I being held by... Restrained. Which one? Orange or... Orange. Orange, okay. Um, uh, let's see. I'll swing it. Uh, yeah, I'll swing at it. For 24? Yes, you will. 24 hits. And that'll be for 10 damage. All right. No. As you slice through it, blade passes through water, but it does react to the damage as it curls itself. And I guess I'll swing again, because why not? All right. With a 17. 17 does it. Nine points damage. All right. Her own back in pain. And that's all I got. Okay. That brings it to Neela. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to decide that this whole spell thing is just not happening the way I want it to. So I'm pulling <laughs> out my crossbow. And I realize that I'm supposed to do it at DC 10. Um, Why mounted? Animal handling in order to stay mounted. I just realized that. Correct. Well, in order to stay mounted so I can do an attack. Let me do that first. And I don't. I don't make an attack. It's, it's fine. <laughs> she's almost falls off the saddle trying to get her crossbow out from her her back there king able to nudge her back on but <laughs> um, yeah i never forced that one before it, I, I, I that one kind of bothered me a little bit from a from king point of view maybe a regular horse but from king that kind of bothered me i might i might wave that i think you two have a kind of a natural bond that you know what I mean? Well, it doesn't prevent the fact that Neela is just clumsy. <laughs> True. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So that brings uh, it to King. Uh, well, I was going to see if just... I had a bonus action I could do. I don't think I do. No, I don't. Okay. All right. No. Um, yeah, it's no. King. No, so, I don't. If you do, go ahead. No. Okay. No, no. It's on self. <laughs> so never mind. It's all good. <laughs> So King is, uh, <clears throat> he's going to continue because all he can do is dash disengage right now because he can't okay. really attack anything. So can, can he bite your bark? 10, 20, 30. Well, how far off the shore is this guy? He is 30 feet from shore. So let's say he's about 20 feet from you. Yeah, it, his bark is... <clears throat> Reach that. Mm. 10, 20, 30. Yeah, 50 40, foot cone, I think. 15. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. There you go. Okay. All right. That brings it to Blue, who is starting to do frost and, un and unfreeze as it's Kindra's turn. Okay, I am going to... It's obvious. Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Fireball is that obvious to Kindroth. <clears throat> uh, no, it is not. It's not a good idea. <laughs> um, but... You said... Um, blue, blue is frozen, you said? Starting to thaw out? Yep. Alright, so I'm going to hit blue with um magic missile at second level Eat it, blue. so that's gonna be uh three darts where is it where is it where is it where is it, where is it? there it is three darts mm -hmm. oh what discord channel unknown okay there we go so that's uh so that'd be six six points of force damage hooray 
Okay. As these magic missiles splash, 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 splash. It hurls back, it rolling. Well, it's frozen. But... My flavor tags. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it would do more damage because it was frozen, but you know, that's that's Kindra's thing. That's Kindra's thought. <laughs> Um, shatter. <laughs> and then I'll move uh I'll move thirty feet towards Bully. Okay. And that brings the IMAG. Uh and purple's heading towards us now, right? Correct. Alright, good. So I'll just shoot at orange. Okay. Right here in my face. Um well, I gotta scroll all the way up to the top of the world. There you go. Attack. 27 Attack. to hit. 27 does hit. For 11 damage. Voice. Voice. As arrows are passing through him. Does it die? It nope. dies, right? Ah. Soddy. Alright, well. Daddy no. I shoot at it again. For what is it? Natural one? <laughs> It, it wasn't natural one. Look at me. It's like my fourth one this game. Caught it. <laughs> Caught. Oh. I'm almost, I'm almost shoots himself, putting the arrow in the wrong backwards. Oh. Kind of want to precision strike it, but will that fix it? Uh, Not, depending if you can do it after you're already rolled. Oh, yeah, I can do it after I roll. Well, yeah, but will it will it fix it because it's a nat one? When you make a weapon attack roll, you expend one superiority die to add it to the roll before or after the roll, but before any effects are applied. I think a one is a one, man. Okay. Unless so you can it. overwrite it. That's a that's a heck of a question, though. Because it's not... A one's a one. Yeah, alright. I won't even burn the the thing then. That's fine. I think you actually have... I think you actually have spells that can have you re-roll a one, I believe. <laughs> Somewhere along, but... Um, yeah, you can... There's a, there is a feat that you can... Alright. But... So, because of that feat, that just... That kind of oh, concretes yeah. it that, yeah, a one is one. <laughs> You're fine. No worries. Okay, so that brings it, if you're done, so that brings it to Orange, yeah. who rips back around and look at IMAG as the two arrows went through it, comes right up against the the shoreline, but decides to turn itself back onto Sophia. Yeah, can't get me. <laughs> can't get me. Fortunately, right. it's an eight. That is fortunate. <clears throat> mm hmm. All right. And this brings purple. Right next to King and Neela. With a target of opportunity, or target being in front of him. He tries to hit Neela. Or 15. Yeah. Or as the water comes crashing down or trying to wrap itself around Neela the Ripper off King 13 for the constriction damage roll your escape of DC 13 either strength or dexterity this is gonna be save. you getting pulled off King it's a save or a check this will be a save That is a 13 on the nose, yes. So you're not, you're restrained, you ripped off King, and it's got you constricted, but you got your hands out, you know, if you, you're not, you escaped the grapple part. So this wording is very confusing, but you escaped the grapple part. But you are restrained. But, and you're I'm off King. Restrained. And I'm off King. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, and that brings it to Sophia. 
let's um I am going to second wind. I guess okay. we'll, that's bonus action, so we'll do that first, I guess. Um, okay. One D ten plus seven, right? Yep. So and you, oh, you, roll. And, and you I, got a ten. That, that's, oh no, you got three. I got a three. <laughs> it's just um, good modifier. <laughs> yeah, great modifier. Uh, but I will take the ten. That's for sure. I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm sure. Ten, ten health. Um, and then I will swing at it. Okay. Uh, orange or blue? Um, you're kind of still restrained by orange. I, I'll you, you can restrict it. It's the one holding me. Okay. That for a nat one. Oh no. Yeah, try to swing. I'm not gonna have you drop the weapon. So you try to swing, and it's just complete. You look like you're flailing over there. <laughs> I guess I'll try to recover by <laughs> right. the 25. I'll take it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, to get your form back and come down on top of it. For seven slashing. Seven you get, slashing you get salt water damage. And you're blinded for three rounds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you slash at it. And you are, it recoils itself back, and you are able to break free of your the restraint as it cools itself back, and comes back around for another attack. You are no longer restrained. Cool. Um, I will stay. Okay. Yeah. That brings it to Neela. Who is restrained, but you have the ability to break away again. If you choose, so wish. It would have to be an action. Um, I think I'm going to... Because technically, King's right there. Let me see. Mm -hmm. And sneak attack. I think... Yep. I think I can still get it. I'm not incapacitated. I'm just restrained, right? Yep. Just restrained, yep. So... Incapacitated. Or grappled or anything like that. So. But because I'm incapacitated, or not, because I am restrained, it's also at disadvantage, correct? Correct. Okay, well, I'm going to... Sophia, try to, correct. <laughs> I'm going to try to get it two-handed with my rapier and my dagger. Stabby, stabby time. Okay. So, splash, 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 splash. Uh, anyway, I should disadvantage 15, Sophia. Fifteen to hit. Ah, uh, fifteen does hit. Okay. And oh, I am. No, I, never mind. I don't have that anymore. I was thinking I was going to do green flame blade, but I don't have that anymore. <sighs> ah. Uh, so that is. 20 nice. damage. True. Gotta love that sneak attack, man. Yes. How do you get... Because King is there. Gotcha. Yep. Woo! Man, it really is burst damage. Slash, slash. Water goes is everywhere in King's eyes. He's looking at all salt water. But, yeah. Pretty heavy hits on this thing as it cools back. And because of that, I'll let you come out of restrain. It pulls itself away. <laughs> you are no longer okay. restrained. All right, then I'll hit it with my dagger. As she comes around for the offhand attack well, of the dagger. Well, 24 to hit. Nice. 24 does it. She's gonna man. She's gonna one shot or not one shot, but she's gonna <laughs> one round this this thing. Watch. 14. Let's do the tank for 14 I, damage. I did uh, damage. I softened that. No, I know thank you, you did. You, you did. You <laughs> always do. You always soften it up and make me look good, I mag. It's only, it's, only four, it's only four on the offhand. You only get the sneak attack once, right? Oh, yeah, you're right, four. You're correct, you're correct. Yeah. I got excited. Woo, woo, woo. 
still there's less nice. damage. Oh. Right, she's slashing, slashing, stabby, stabby. It cools back itself back, and now it's like hit, you know, standing 20 feet over her little two and a half foot self. I'm taller than that. <laughs> you three feet? Short? Fine, two foot eight. <laughs> I'm three foot, thank you. <laughs> is, she, is she looking straight up at, this, at three feet? Okay. As King, licking the salt water off his or and news. Um He's gonna use bark. My baby's gonna <gasps> bark. Okay. Gonna bark. He's gonna bark. And he gives bark, bark. it at advantage. Because I'm next to uh, the creature. He he does. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. It's not a, it's a roll to hit. It's a DC. Sorry. DC 12. Yeah, this is a dodge. It. So this true is as this bark echoes throughout everything. I'm sorry. I'm tired, guys. I'm so tired too. Uh, for I feel you. 22. Oh, well, poopy. He takes half damage. So, nine. yeah, two force and six thunder. Or if you add it up, nine, whatever way you want to do it. Yeah. Well, I got five and 13 and five force, 13 thunder. Yeah, but you succeeded, so it's half damage, right? I got you. I got you. Oh, got you. Hmm. So cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm my my brain's a little tired. <laughs> right. Wolf wolf as it echoes throughout. Creating ripples in the water. That brings it to He still has movement. Aha, uh -huh, and it recharges. Boom. No, he's nice. recharged. That never happens. I know. So he still has movement? Yeah, should still. Uh, um, yeah, but he'll take an opportunity, so he'll stay there. Oh. All right. That brings it to Blue. At the end of his turn, he starts cracking through. The waves start boiling again. The ice falls away. It's completely defrosted. It's Kendroth. Um, all right. So Kendroth is going to try something a little different. I am yes, going is. to... I'm going to cast haste on Sophia. Hmm. Okay. So that's concentration for up to a minute. She gets plus two to her AC and double her movement speed. Wow. And advantage on deck you have you have advantage on dex throws, um, and you gain an additional action on each turn. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo. That's so nice. It can only be used to take the attack. One weapon only. Okay. Yep. One weapon attack only. Dash, disengage, hide, or use an object. Okay. Oh, As Kendra says his <laughs> magical word, Sophia gets all buffed up more than she already is. Uh, and that's it for me. Okay. Hi, Mag. Mag, that's me. Who was who just sniping away? I'm just sniping away. Nothing wrong, mm. nothing wrong with that. Okay, well, we'll see. Um, <laughs> I am going to snipe some more at Orange. Um. As soon as I remember where that button goes. Oh. 27. Shoo! As you put the arrow, knock the arrow, pull the string pack, let it fly. It does make contact with this watery body. Seven damage. 
probably been reduced to half the whole time because he has resistance to piercing a, or something crazy. <laughs> yeah, as an arrow passes it. through its watery body, <laughs> it hurls back in a little bit of pain. Uh, it's, it's, hey. oh, I mean, hey. Um. Again, again, again. Okay. Too far away. Too orange. Critical? Ooh, there you uh -huh. go. Is this on orange? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll see. So it's a crit, man. So you got you pulled you pulled it back. You ain't just right on a very sensitive body part of this watery form. <laughs> so that'd be eight plus uh four uh, eight plus eight is uh, sixteen. Sixteen damage. Nice. Nice. Well, Plus four. Hmm? Right? Well, my... Because your, your bow your bow is at your bow is no, a still... eight plus four. Right. And then you get it and then you get an eight on top of Oh no, you're right. Yeah, sixteen. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I get my one D eight, eight plus one D eight plus four. I roll a four. Yep. So it's twelve gotcha. plus four is sixteen. All right. Man. Cool. So as you yeah. So as this arrow goes flying, it goes through its watery body right around the head area. And with that, it reacts. It just couldn't hold its form anymore as a big old wave just comes plashing down on top of Sophia, soaking her from head to toe. Okay, action surge. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'm going to attack blue. Okay. Uh, shoot and shoot. Uh, 17 to hit. Arrow goes flying. It goes through its body. It is a hit. Uh, 10 damage. Second attack on blue. Okay. <laughs> All right. 19 okay. to hit. 19 hits. And 11 damage to blue. And, and that'll end my turn. Each arrow passes through it. Shoo, shoo, shoo. It's reacting to each one, but it's still holding the shape. Cool. That's cool. <clears throat> All right, let's clean up here. So that one is gone off the list. Purple is in a tight battle with Neela as it tries to come down and to constrict it is as with her again. Seven. That's a miss. Right. Sophia is up. Feeling all empowered by the haste of Kendroff and soaking wet from her head to toe. Right. In salt water. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just going to start swinging away. So. Luna. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh! Crit. How many criticals? Can, <laughs> wow. the I know it is. <laughs> well, she crits on a nineteen, which is what yeah. happened there, right? Yeah, yeah. but still, yeah. I haven't rolled a nineteen tonight. <laughs> rolled a couple. Uh, twelve. 13, it's a eighteen points. Eighteen with the plus one, a magical sword. As you hack and slash at this thing, how many points was it again? It was 18 points of damage for that first swing. Ooh, it's reacting to every swing. You you just gouged it. It water formed back over its wound, but you know you affected it pretty deeply. Heard it right here, right here. Roll. Right, yeah. right in the feels. You heard its feelings, hit. Sophia. That's good. That's that's really what I'm trying to do. Is just crush its spirits. <laughs> Ooh. So as you come around for the second swing, it pulls back as the blade's coming through, but you make contact just barely. Nice. Ten. For eight points. Okay. Eight points. And with all this extra energy that I have, <laughs> one more go. For another nice. Oh my god! Woo. As you now, come back through the third, 
It's a crit. <laughs> Can I crit strong attack, attack on a you, crit? No, you get how much do you have to pay to load your dice like this? You get this, an extra Lord? action. You get four attacks. No, oh. one one attack, one weapon one attack. attack. Oh, but okay. It says okay. It says, it says it says you gain an additional action on each of your turns. The action can be used only to take the attack, one weapon attack only, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object. My extra okay. action, or my, uh, okay. what's it actually called? I mean, it's not a bonus well, you... action attack. Yeah, right? an extra so, attack so is, it is one weapon. Non, it's just two it's attacks. non-action, technically. Okay. You're fine. Three attacks with haste is okay. It's enough. Yeah, I don't, don't, don't <laughs> even know. I'm not going to complain here. Yeah. Can I strong attack? Yeah. With a crit? Absolutely. Awesome. We're gonna strong attack and just twenty four. Did you have to declare it before you run, rolled it? I don't think I no, have to declare it. No, strong strong attack is just max damage. You can just choose one attack to make max damage. There you go. I think you just have to declare it before you know it's gonna hit. But obviously with a crit. I think. I don't even know if it's I don't even, I don't know. I can check I that, but I don't that. I don't believe I don't even think it's, it's that, just, I, yeah. It says any melee attack that hits does max damage. Okay, yeah. then never mind. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't say in the rules, so there you go. Yes, you can. Cool. That so sounds... we'll do 24 points of damage. That's fantastic. Oh, girl oh man, you basically, uppercut at this, you basically uppercut at this thing. His body splits itself in half in two separate ways, but it does come back together. How much Still there. Four plus eight plus. <laughs> that was good. That was good. It was just 50 points of damage. Mm -hmm. In that one turn? <laughs> like, in one turn. Uh -huh. and, and you have and you have double movement. Um, oh, wait, well, it, it's it's still standing, right? Yeah, so never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to stay because of that. Yeah. Okay. How long does that last? Uh, concentration up to a minute, so oh, so okay. it can it can it can last you know ten rounds. Five more rounds. Oh, yeah, rotate sorry. around to the other side. I need to take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Who's that? Yeah. Oh. It's it's raining and thunder and oh, lightning. All this extra movement. She's just starting she's starting to feel confident. And just wants to dance around the thing. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I mean, to be fair, you can head. call out strategies. You can call out strategies as free action. You don't have to, you don't have to bring in the meta uh, seagull. The meta, the, the, meta, the meta vision. The meta seagull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Neela is in a light to death struggle with this watery serpent. Neela's turn. Okay, I am going to use my action to attack with my. Rapier with advantage. Okay. Or not with advantage. No, gosh. Never mind. I'm going to use attack. <laughs> I need a nap, guys. Like hardcore. <laughs> Twenty-two right. to hit. Twenty-two does hit. Okay. I hear you. And that's eighteen damage. Shoo. As you slash with this vicious rapier, uh, you basically, is, again, his body splitting apart, not holding its form very well, but it's still there and it's still a threat. Okay, I will then attack it with my dagger, I guess. That's a dirty 20 to hit. 20 Ready does hit. Yeah. That's good. That's five damage. Damage. Is that a magical dagger? No. Just a plain dagger. But it is enough. As you slash with the offhand of the dagger, its form just cannot control it anymore, and a big giant wave at 20 foot high it just comes crashing down on top of you and King. 
so can you from head to toe and Corgi's hair or King's hair is yeah, just he's looking like a wet. Doggy he's rat. wet. He's wet dog right now. Good, that's good. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Single handedly took down a, a water weird. It no. was no. I I mag I mag <laughs> it up. I I definitely did. But at she least won't some tell damage. anybody that. She single handedly. <laughs> it is Don't tell tales good. of it in the in the way we're tabbing during karaoke night. <laughs> Hey, I tell everybody dinner. about how you killed a dragon and all these other things. You can lie for me once. <laughs> I only lie you about still have the movement? Either. Um, I I think I am going to stay where I am. Okay, and that brings it to King. He is going to. Sorry, I have to move myself. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, 10, 20, 30, 40. Gonna get up here with Sophia. Okay. And he is going to use a bite attack on the slaughter. <gasps> okay. He gets advantage. Obviously, the water elemental will be grappled. <laughs> <laughs> And that is 11 to hit, so that probably misses. He does miss. King almost fell off the pier. I'm trying to snap at his thing. because he's Hang all on. wet. He's, he's really miserable. I, yeah, he's I all... Get a, I get a visual of my brother's bulldog trying to eat the water as it comes out of the hose. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, how. <laughs> now, now, I, now I got that picture in my head. I think all dogs do that. Nice. Good stuff. All right, is that end of King's turn? That's King's turn. All right. As Blue whips around like a big wall of water to hit Sophia. Just over King's head. Let's come down and hit Sophia. Bring it. 19? 19 does it. You got a plus two to your AC. Oh, remember that? I forgot about that. No, it does not hit. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You were able to. You took the hit. You stood up. Didn't take the damage from it, but the but there is another way of coming. Bring it. Twenty-one hit. Twenty-one does hit. <laughs> Twelve bludgeoning damage on the second one. No, I can't help you. Ooh, not twenty-one. Twelve. <laughs> I'm sorry, I said yeah. that wrong. Yeah, 12. No, 12. no, you no, said you 12. No, you said it right. Typed he, he typed 21 in his sheet. Oh. <laughs> a little, little bit of a difference. Just a wee bit. And, um... This is gone, so that's Kendroff. The only thing left is the the um, the elemental that Sophia's in battle with right now. Blue. So I will cast Ray of Frost on Blue. Okay. Linothlosi. And that's going to be a crit. 26 to hit. 26 does hit. And it's so immediately frozen on that hit. Yeah, so that's going to be um, 2d8. So that's going to be 16 plus uh, 7. So that's, oh, nice. uh, what, 20, uh, 23? 23. How do you want to do it? Nice. <laughs> Um, this thing's just gonna freeze solid and just shatter and fall to the ground in shards of ice. Nice. That's what I see as a big ray hits it. It frozen and right behind that, a force of energy from the from the frost bolt part. That's the ray of frost, and then it shatters all over. Doesn't get Sophia wet this time, but piece of, of <laughs> ice in her hair and eyes and King all over King. Again? Oh, he's like double sogged. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That guys, the clouds depart. Okay. Guys it's are sure the anymore. sun. It's not raining anymore. It's... And King goes da, 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 and gets it all over Sophia. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> uh -huh. He shakes off the water all over Sophia. <laughs> wet dog and all. Yep. I'm gonna smell like wet dog. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> 
sun shining. You do notice, I believe I thought it was three bodies left on that island. Yep. Unconscious uh, still. Is there a boat or something to get out to him? No, but it's waist deep of water. Um, oh. Because of the storm. Waist deep for a, a human or a waist deep for me? <laughs> <laughs> Those two different things. That's so a good point. That is off the dock. It is. You could ride Especially with her double movement right now. Before that wears off, she's going to run and. <laughs> I think I can get to the island in one go. So, so it's, three feet of water. It's, it's three feet of water. She. Yeah, she swims all the way out there. Uh, they are fishermen. Uh, local boats seem to be destroyed or is got drifted out way out to sea because of the storm and a waves crash and things of that nature. Um, but you did make it to the island. You see three fishermen, and they are unconscious. They have symbols on them like they were a offering that you gathered. I can't stop moving my character. I can't move my character correctly. Um, but that's fine. I don't know where your character went. <laughs> he's up okay. there on the he's top up, now. He's up top now. Uh, when I pick him up, it's like I'm moving the map instead of moving him, so I can't move him. But anyway, you, I was... You, you moved him on my oh. side. Oh, there you go. Right, yeah, I can move him, but, like, I can't put him where I want to put him. So when I pick him up and I move the mouse, instead of moving the token, the map moves. Like, I'm holding it, you know, you get at the hand sometimes, you know, you can, like, grab the uh, image and move it around. It does that right. under, underneath my token. Maybe refresh. I get some weird map stuff like that sometimes. I'll refresh. Yeah, that's strange. Because you don't have access to touch that map. That's strange. No, it's just no, it's just him panning. It's it's him uh, 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 panning around. So, yeah. Left click, not right click. <laughs> yeah, he's not actually moving the map layer. He's just panning around. Gotcha. All right. So yeah, the sun's shining. Sophia's going there. Sees the bodies. Uh, yeah, it's about three feet of water. It's over your head. <laughs> and uh, this there is, I, I think, this is a good point. To, before we go any farther, this is a, probably a good point to. In the session, but I will you know, note after the crowd, the clouds part, suns are shining again. The two children do come out of the center building. I bring oh. it to the main map. Oh, they do come out. Let's get a. Uh, I, I can only choose of, this color. Of what? Of the tower? Yeah. Okay. Really? Okay. So, so you see two kids. On the top of the, the hill of the tower, starting to make its way down the path. It don't take that long to get down to the bottom, but we'll leave it there for tonight. Um, so we don't, we still don't know what the bodies are on the other side. You said they were unconscious. Can so can Sophia noticed? Like, are they stable? They're unconscious and stable. Uh, Sophia didn't know they noticed by their appearance. They are fishermen of the area by their garb. But they had markings and stuff on them that looked like, without a roll, just general knowledge, that it looked like they were made for an offering. So they're more unconscious than, than incapacitated type thing. But like they got lost, knocked out. And we lost two of them to the uh, the things. They think two to of the, the water weirds. You lost two to the master of what the priest was summoning. Yes. Okay. The guy that yeah. it was that he was praying to. Yeah. And with that, well, in our session today, in Leon, Leon, for my sake, I think oh, we could do it next week. Should I do it now? Ah, it's funny. Our title is Leonid. <laughs> Fight for the Leonin. Uh-oh. We're fighting for kitties again. <laughs> fighting for, not fighting. <laughs> it's all good. I didn't, change the, the I didn't change that part. I only added the fight for instead of the other part. So 
That was misspelled by Ed. Ed, look what you did. You you wrote what? Leon in again. Uh, what you fight? I, I don't it's know. Leon? It's Leyland. <laughs> Leon. 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 How do you spell it? So it soon. It is L E I L O N. I. L O N. L E L E I L O N. All right. It's L E I L O N. Okay, I was yeah. close. <laughs> once yeah. a city, once a creature. It's close. Hey, I was Fine. close. <laughs> I can't say anything. <laughs> I was so tired. I was doing silly stuff all night. <laughs> but with that, you guys are completely exhausted. Uh, we'll go ahead and do two things before our next session to get it out of the way because there's going to be RPM for a couple sessions here. Uh, go ahead and level to level eight. What? Oh, really? What? Woohoo! Cool. Oh, and man, go, ahead, go, ahead, too. go ahead and do your long rest. You, The two children come down. You do rescue them. The, the town people have noticed in the clouds that went away and the storm is gone. There you see them. You know, it's a quarter mile out. are going to start trucking back into the city as you guys just crash because you're exhausted for three phases of fighting. Good job. Yay. Awesome. Yay. Good job, everybody. Woo. Yeah, and iMag's like, oh, my back. Oh, oh my back. <laughs> so, it's okay. so that's that's awesome. That's awesome. So, yeah, so yeah, uh, I just want to I just want to remind everybody who wasn't here earlier. Uh, we're uploading two to three times a week on the YouTube channel, all of our back sessions. So we're trying to get everything up to date on that. Um. All the links are down below in the link uh, in the, the link panel. There's also exclamation links will get you the link tree. Yeah, oh, there yeah, it is. Links. Yeah, links. Yeah. So exclamation links will get you the link tree. Uh, it's got links to all the things. Check them all out. And uh, that's pretty much what I got. Yeah, don't yeah forget thanks for the it. support. Don't forget to share with your friends, guys. Six away. Six away, six away from emotes and and channel points. You can you can mm -hmm. help the uh, help the players out. Maybe we might even throw one or two in there where you can kind of hinder us. You can help the DM out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would, there you go. DM That's needs help. That would be good, especially for this group. I mean, I don't know. I almost, I don't know. I almost TPK'd last Thursday. So yeah. it did. <laughs> Yeah, you guys handled these three phases very well, and um, it's, okay. it's fun when the chat can interact and throw some healing potions. I think of like Hunger yep. Games in that aspect, right? So you pin, you spend your points to try to help them out. Yep. If you're a little nefarious too, you can have the DM throw a little wild card in there too. But uh, now I want to thank everybody for the support. We grew pretty pretty significantly in the past couple of weeks, so thanks everybody for the yes, big yes, huge yes. support. It's been very good. It's, it's been, been very jump. good. Thank you, thank big you. Jump to get up our channels and bring it down to this one and start from scratch the way we did. So. Yeah. Very much appreciate that support, guys. Yeah. Love it. Mm -hmm. All right. And I hope you enjoy what we're putting out. And don't forget, tomorrow is Waterdeep, 6 yep. p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know the other time zones, but <laughs> 6 p.m. Eastern. And uh, three, of course, three, Curse Stroud on Friday. Uh, 3 yeah. Eastern. Or, sorry, Western. Western. Pacific. Yeah. Pacific, thank you. I'm too tired. It depends, <laughs> like in the morning. In the morning, the next day. In the morning, it's pins, pins, pins. Uh, time traveler. It's, it's what? Uh, eight eight a.m. for you, right, Pen? You're you're fourteen ahead of us, right? So I think it's eight a.m. for you. Six p.m. our time. But uh, <laughs> all right, so what do you guys? What do you guys want to do for a raid? Ten a.m. Um, yeah, it's ten now. Yeah, so you're fourteen ahead of us. Yeah. Um, yeah, your math is as good as I am. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, we'll go ahead and end. We're going to raid, looks like. So uh, I'll yeah. So we in. got yes. we got yeah. six sides of gaming is playing D and D, and then um, bully. We got Walter's workshop is two hours in. You think he's painting Ooh. orcs tonight? Yeah, hit Walter's. Hit Walter. Okay. Hit Walter. We don't go there very often. Let's go there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, follow it. It helps us out to uh, network out too, please. So that'd be awesome to show some love and show these other love. channels. Make sure to show follow some love. Walter when we get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The love, really love, nice love. guy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Thanks, thanks for coming and hanging out. See you guys tomorrow. As always, thanks, guys. Bye -bye. <laughs> All right, here we go. See you over there. Thank you. Thank you, Sophia.